No, this isn't right. What am I doing? I'm not Darkseid. I'm not Sith. You are my apprentice now. You will do as I say. No. The Jedi exist to wipe out evil. As a Jedi, I've sworn to end this war. Even if I have to kill every Sith in the galaxy. There can never be peace in the galaxy as long as the Sith exist. The Sith thrive on endless war. So, let's say you kill all the Sith. The really important ones, at least. What then? You can't kill them all. And the survivors will bicker amongst themselves. Someone will fill the power vacuum. Maybe someone powerful enough to unite the Sith. You might prefer the evil you know. So what do you propose? How will you change the Empire? By any means necessary. I see. I'll follow you, for now. But in training, they warned us that entangling with monsters, we risk becoming monsters ourselves. I will not go against the Jedi teachings or my conscience. But I'll do what I can. Dagaai we sandans, ni namans for isis bi jandans amin. Sai galut saida, iswis us uf bundan, ja atnam, in puidangarja. I wonder what it's an omen of. Ja iswis is good nem iswil imb. How saip, sai uran sa sayans, do sayan frawa. I wouldn't trust every stray thought that enters your mind, especially with Zash in there. Papanu Gasavans, lo anes, pose us tauhana. Patai guibanist, ni fragais fraujan, kupainaina. Us taupaim, ai sijai in alam, is frumadain habans. Lord, it looks like Thanatong's man will catch us before you arrive. Corin and I will try our best to stave him off, but Lord Cineratus is not a man to be trifled with. The item we stole was the key to a hidden entrance to Darth Thanaton's private meditation chambers. It is the perfect ambush spot for when you have enough power to face him. If Corin and I don't make it, we hope you'll avenge our deaths. Crush Thanaton, and usher in the new era for the Sith. Here for inoculation, you'll need form 1423-D, and, uh, oh, excuse me. Sorry, my lord, I thought you were another recruit. No paperwork required. I take it you're here to fight in the Quesh War? I think that should stay my little secret. Understood. Whatever your interests, just know that this planet's not safe. Quesh is highly toxic, poisoned by the resource the Republic's mining. You'll need a protective injection just to survive. There we go. That treatment will protect you for the time being. I have business on Quash. You're good to go. The effects will wear off, but you can get another injection planet side. You're cleared. Talk to Moff Drayson if you want to fight. He's in charge of the Empire's war effort. my apprentices. My lord, I assure you it was nothing personal. I just prefer to stay off Thanaton's hit list. Or do you really think I have nothing better to do than chase a pair of low apprentices across the blasted galaxy? Now, as often happens when two Sith first meet, one of us isn't leaving this room alive. So I propose a toast. To the honorably defeated. There isn't a chance I could be buried on Karabar, is there? I hear the tomb on Nagasado is vacant. The odds are slim, but I could put in a good word for you. That's Duelist in my class.
Your old apprentices are dead, but they managed to steal the key to Thanaton's meditation. And so grows the last of my legacy, yourself accepted. But this key, perhaps their death was not such a waste. Thanaton's private meditation chamber would be the perfect place for an ambush. We done playing with ghosts yet? Where I come from, man takes your dignity, you break his teeth. We shouldn't rush to seek revenge. We can't afford haste. I'd advise against facing Thanaton until you've gained more power. You killed my apprentices. Your apprentices. Whatever. I will crush him. You know, it's just hearsay, but there have been strange rumors coming off Hoth lately. Ships crashing mysteriously, and crews hearing voices. Some pretty level-headed people I know are spooked. But Shara and I will look into these Hoth rumors. In the meantime, you should consider replacing your apprentices. You will appear weak if you don't try to restore what Thanaton destroyed. I've heard a new group of acolytes have arrived on Korriban. Slaves. The kind that Thanaton always passes on. Our old friend Harkon is training them. You should have let me kill that imbecile when we had the chance. It can be difficult to suffer at times, but he may yet prove useful to you. An apprentice from Korriban is a special honor. It says you have status, and you will have your pick of the group. Go to Korriban where we study these false rumors your pirate friend produced. I gotta come clean with you, Sith. I wasn't always the scoundrel you met on Tatooine. I used to run in the Republic military. Made captain before I wised up and deserted. Call it misspent youth. Why are you telling me this now? Carl sent me a message. I guess bailing him out got the Republic military's attention. Seems they've added treason to the charges of desertion and piracy. Guess they're not big on former officers traveling with a Sith. Anyway, if things get hot, I might need to hop off the radar for a while. If things get hot, this ship is the safest place for you. The Republic military police are no match for me. <laughs> Thanks. Good to know you got my back. You are the slime, the filth, the wretches of society. You are what Sith Lords scrape off their boots. I don't know why the Sith Empire even bothers with you, miserable curs. They'd be wiser to give you shovels and have you dig your own graves. Excuse me, please. Apologies, my lord. I didn't notice you there. I was just preparing these new slaves for their imminent death. Are you here for an apprentice, or were you just feeling nostalgic? I'm certainly not here to see you. Still as prickly and arrogant as ever, eh, slave? I mean, my lord. Thanaton had the sense to pass up this cancerous lot, so they're yours if you want them. This worm is Sephiroth. They found him in a hut's palace, crushing prisoners' heads for the hut's entertainment. Steve Pamuhu Mwaga. Shut up, slave. You don't talk directly to a lord of the Sith unless she asks it. This beady-eyed monstrosity is Argog. Don't know where on a cat hound's backside he's supposed to come from. Sorry, what was that? Can't understand a word it says. This gangly creature is Jackson. He's no Sith, but he's at least human. And this bone-faced one, well, I can't pronounce whatever gibberish he says he's called. We call him Zalek. Master. Don't let him fool you. Too wild for his own good. There were two others, but we made the mistake of leaving them alone with Zalek. I caution you against choosing favorites, Harkon. I will check in often. You may check back as you please. I don't expect it to take too long to chew through this bunch. What are you staring at, wretches? You know your trial. Now go! I trust our friend Harkin is doing well. If your business is finished on Korriban, it's time we looked for another spirit to bind. I hope you've turned up more than rumors. One man's rumors are another man's force-fortifying ghosts. 
We think what Andronicus has heard is true. A Republic transport crashed over Hoth about a year ago. It was carrying artifacts from a Sith tomb that the Jedi had confiscated. Confiscated is the perfect euphemism, isn't it? A Sith is in no place to judge. The Jedi never recovered the transport. I don't like the idea of finding the dead like this, but if you have to, I'd start looking for that transport. <laughs>